This happens to every one in every game, but sometimes you're playing Sims 4 and come upon something that seems out of place. We're going to look at many of those as we go over things that make no sense. Here's a great first example. City living comes with this city native aspiration that makes you a master of living in the city and knowing your way around. You've got to try lots of foods, visit festivals, and own an apartment worth 100,000 simoleons. So you're rich. What's your reward for this? A rebate on food stall purchases. <laughs> That's really what you get. So you're in the 1%. You're one of the global elite, but you need a 10% discount on a chicken sandwich. And that's the reward. Fast food coupons. It doesn't just work either. You have to haggle for it too. So you're basically Jeff Bezos begging minimum wage workers for a two for five at Arby's. Kanye West complaining the $5 footlong doesn't include the cheesesteak. <laughs> I'm so proud of that mask. I bet you can't tell he wasn't really holding it. Look, I appreciate insects' role in the ecosystem, but I'm not so appreciative you will ever catch me cuddling them. I know from a previous legal issue that it's very hard to establish consent with a grub worm. <laughs> The hug-a-bug mechanic from Eco Lifestyle is one of the strangest things they've added. Uh, well, it's kind of normal next to the meat wall. Us people who care about the environment used to be called tree huggers, but I guess now it's got to be something about being intimate with insects. Okay, vampires get this power. Eternally welcome. It's supposed to let you sneak into houses at night. Everyone's asleep. So you sneak up to the bed, have your treat, and the snack wakes up the next day with neck wounds and a hangover. What we have instead is you show up at 3 a.m. and everybody's awake on PC trolling the forums. If you do catch a sim in bed, they'll stand up to let you have a sip. Look, see, I made a sim feeding on a bed animation. It's not so hard. I mean, this is clearly better than nothing. And you see, I added the little kicks, which means that he's enjoying himself. It is so sad to me that firefighters were added and the community was excited for it. But they don't even toss a model of a fire truck to pretend they drove to your house. Firefighters don't have a fire truck. It's Probably because they were afraid they'd make you think they were bringing cars. You know, those things people in town clearly own, but Sims don't make use of whatsoever. Even to carpool to work, which is another thing that makes no sense. As another example of the things we're looking at here, is this child 6 or 12? You tell me. Is this teenager 13 or 19? There really isn't any difference, is there? You see, there's a whole lot of childhood crammed into two stages. But you know what that means? That means that 13-year-olds date 19-year-olds in The Sims 4. I thought about this way too much. I also realized you can have a boyfriend at 14, and when he ages up, he's 25. That's some family-friendly content. Sims are super cruel to their babies in Sims 4. They can't take them anywhere. You know what the baby sees all day? The ceiling. <laughs> I know none of you do this to help them out because you're scared, you'll forget them out there, but it's healthy. Staring at the ceiling the entirety of their first two years of their life, we then expect them to know how to talk, know who their father is, and have 20-20 vision. Instead, they know literally nothing as toddlers, and they're so damaged by this poor treatment that they're just scared of the unknown, and in later life find comfort in just staring at a plain white ceiling. This one's like an onion, it has a few layers. <laughs> Sims 4 is so wholesome, but that isn't always good for the game. I mean, you have a first kiss, but then you round the bases. There are many, many steps in between a first kiss and other things, if you know what I'm saying. The game used to have makeout sessions that got pretty steamy, and maybe even insinuations of more going on under the water in the hot tub. You know what Sims 3 had? Not only a fire truck, but also dancing topless firemen. You see, that's two things. Better than no things. 
That's right, pure smut for anyone who's into men. EA is trying to make this more palatable to children, but has made a game that lets 14-year-olds date 25-year-olds. Sims 4 has this super secret aspiration hardly anyone has heard of called Something Something Grilled Cheese. You eat a few grilled cheese sandwiches, you obsess over it, drive your friends and family crazy debating Gouda, American, or cheddar, butter, or olive oil, and in the process, you consume enough to make your sim fat. Your reward for all this is the magical ability to summon a grilled cheese out of thin air. You are like a god now, using cosmic power to capture atoms from thin air, and with this power, your sim produces a normal quality grilled cheese. EA, fix this right now. You know it makes no sense. You're literally better off taking an apple with you than using this awful ability. At least the apple gives a good buff. One of the worst exploits in Sims 4 probably comes from the camera. It's not that exploits are so bad, some people make them into respectable content. I just think bugs are bad, and it's clearly not meant to be this way. Now that I know it, I can't just not use it. If you take a picture of a sim, you get to take five shots while time freezes. Your sim actually gets a boost to relationship for all five shots, uh, letting you make a friend in just 30 minutes once you repeat the process a few times. You know what I'd find annoying? When someone takes my picture 45 times in a half hour. That's right, they should get sick of your crap, sick of your stupid pictures. That's not a friend, that's a stalker, and I need a restraining order. There's this pretty neat object that comes with city living for rich sims, a toilet that actually talks. But the devs added in this annoying thing sims do, where they feel a need to gaze at the wondrous technology. The talking toilet has some neat features, but this interaction needs flush. It's a joke, and those aren't very funny when they endlessly repeat themselves. Mansion Barons, you know, the richest Sims in The Sims 4 who take pride in their massive carbon footprints. Their amazing well thought out reward is to receive a 10% rebate on all build mode purchases. But look what you have to do before you get this rebate. You need to own a house with columns with 30 windows worth 350000 You've literally already built a massive house worth millions and you get a discount on building a massive house worth millions in the future. It's a lot like some billionaire bothering to mail in rebate coupons just to save $25 on his 13th sink, which will no doubt end up stolen at some point. Yep, that was the best video I've ever made. <laughs> they had these live challenges, a mechanic that is still there in the game code, but they stopped using them out of nowhere. This was how they added sugar skulls for Day of the Dead and plant sims for some other event I never did. I guess that maybe that's the problem, not playing them. Some players say there's a reason they didn't play them. But if they had interesting, exclusive rewards you can keep on your account instead of a save game, it would have definitely attracted more attention. This was a huge missed opportunity, and missed opportunities are very few and far between these days, so it's noteworthy. <laughs> Let me share with you one of my first ever pet peeves for The Sims 4. You work super hard at an instrument. You are a master. You can play free bird on a violin. You get to the point you are literally a master of the craft and you can now license your own songs. You work super hard on it and you start to get royalties, but you make a second song and the game says no. You are only allowed to have one song license per week. To make this more frustrating, writers can have so many books that the notification breaks and only shows the last 20. It's definitive proof they just let some guy on the team make something and don't try to balance anything in any way. So if you want to make money as a musician, you have to master literally all of the instruments. May as well take up writing or painting. I guess they decided this was fine because they never fixed it and released more instruments with this same stupid mechanic. Stupid's a strong word, but yes, it's stupid.
I'm sorry, I couldn't resist it. <laughs> Sometimes the rewards they thought up for various activities are just downright useless. But in this case, it's strangely off topic. If you master gardening with freelance botanist, you get the naturalist reward trait. Know what that does? It makes your sim fireproof, and that doesn't make any sense. Sims can be entirely friendless and not mind. That's right, friendships do very little. Sims can be outcasts who talk to plants and never have human contact and be perfectly happy. While I personally would be very happy talking to plants, it's definitely not the norm. Craving a friendship would be normal, but this is just the opposite. Seasons added sprinklers to the game, but they're dumb, and I'll tell you why. Sims 4 sprinklers only affect one square around them. Meanwhile, they change it so that a sim can water a big area around their target and only need to water every four or so days. This makes sprinklers even more useless, and that's before you account for the fact that Seasons brings rain. Here's another one. When you reach level 9 of Entertainer, you are like a joke master, so much so that you get the ability to perform comedy in space, making you like $400. But to do that, you'll need a rocket ship, which is a totally unrelated skill. The game shouldn't ask master comedians to take up rocket science for no real reason to discover that it sucks. With only the base game, Sims can use social media and get followers. That's right, you can be an obnoxious blogger in Sims 4, sharing your amazing life without ever really taking a moment to just enjoy something. You'll gain followers as you use the charisma skill and post updates on the computer. While with Get Famous, this can't help with fame, the entire charisma follower system is one big dead end. You've probably heard me mention this before. Whims were turned off instead of fixed and yada yada yada. In doing some digging, I discovered that after Get Famous, Maxis stopped adding new whims. It was doomed from the start. Here's a funny thing about how inconsistent this is. In Get to Work, the very first expansion, only scientist has any whims. It's also the only career with cool rewards. There are no retail, detective, or doctor specific whims and aspirations. They probably use data to make decisions. The data probably said, people don't use whims, so we shouldn't bother to continue to add them. But you didn't fix them, so of course people don't use them. That doesn't make any sense either. Now we're talking about one of the most useless perks in the game, Father Winter's Baby. You go through all this trouble to mate with a specific sim and have a baby with him, destroy your marriage, and all the kid gets is a flag noting their Father Winter's Baby. Why is this stupid? Because the reward increases how many points you get for whims, and that system was discontinued with Get Famous. Does that make sense to anyone? I'm sorry to transition into heavy stuff. I'd like to dedicate a moment in this video to Pam, the lady who founded my Sims forum with me back in 2009. She died a few days ago and it's a major loss to her family and online friends and there were many of them. She definitely played a huge role in my early adult life and I'll miss her, her contributions, and sometimes her advice. Thank you.